Hello, thank you for joining me for today's practice. Good on you for making it to your mat. So today's sequence is a, it's a whole body practice. We're going to be generating a little bit of heat, a little bit of just activating tappers, which means fire, so our inner fire, by just moving through some mobilizations. Um, and yeah, so we'll be moving quite dynamically for the first part of the class. And then we're gonna move into some longer holds and working through the inner thighs. So make sure you're nice and comfortable and we're going to make a start standing today. So when you're ready, standing in the center of your mat and we can have the feet just about hip distance apart here. And let's bring the palms and hands together in front of the chest, letting the elbows be relaxed. When you feel ready, closing down the eyes. Feeling into the soles of the feet. Starting to press down through the base of the big toe, the little toe, outer edge of the heel, inner edges of the heels. Drawing the kneecaps up without locking out the knees. Tailbone dropping down. Growing up through the entire spinal column. Energy up and out through the crown of the head. Easy breathing. And let's recall our sankalpa. So revisiting our intention, repeating it in the present tense three times to ourselves. Connecting with the breathing, starting to lengthen into the inhale and slow down the exhale, breathing in and out through the nose. When you're ready, open up the eyes, releasing the arms down by your side. So we're going to start just with some easy forward and back circles with the shoulders. Try to make the circles as large as you can, circling forward, up and back, forward, up and back. Staying grounded down through the feet. Stay connected to the breath. And then changing the direction, so we're going back, up and forward, back, up and forward. This last two and last one. Taking the fingertips to the shoulders and let's take the elbows together, circle the elbows back, maybe the wrists touch behind the head and circle the elbows back. Elbows forward, at wrists and back. Just continuing here. Take the breath into the upper body. And then changing the direction. So we're going back, maybe the wrist touch behind the head, elbows together. It's a very simple action that starts to generate a little bit of heat into the upper body. Last three, last two, last one. Releasing the arms down. We're going to bend through the knees and circle the arms forward, up and back. And again, forward, up and back. Press down through the feet as you come up to standing. Try to lengthen out through the arms. And taking the arms up and then we'll just swap the direction. So going down, back and up. Down, back and up. Try to keep the knees tracking towards the second toe as you come into this bend. Shoulders staying up over the hips rather than hinging yourself forward here. So you might not bend as deep, but that's okay. Last three, last two, 
last one. Arms down by your side. We're going to take the arms, the left arm forward, right arm back. Use your eyes to follow that right hand. And then as you bend the knees, we're gonna let the arms swing through centre and go the other way. Both hip bones keep pointing forward, looking towards that left arm. Bend through the knees, let the arms swing. Drop, swing, looking to the left. Drop, swing, looking to the right. Both hip bones forward. Drop, swing, looking to the left. Just a few more. If you can, be with me to the right, centre to the left, centre to the right. We're going to keep the arms going up, come to centre and then turn to the left and then drop, swing, drop, swing to the right. Looking to the left, keep that left arm coming up, keep the right arm coming up, turning to the right, open out and then swing to the left. It's a little bit of a tricky one for the brain, so don't worry if you're getting a little bit mixed up here. Just keep going. It's one of those things that you just need to practice. We're gonna go again, swinging, looking to the left, swinging, look to the right, right arm keeps coming up, left arm keeps coming up, come to the center, look to the left, open the arms out, and you drop swing, look to the right, drop swing, look to the left, drop swing, look to the right. Last one, drop swing, look to the left, Left arm keeps coming up, right arm keeps coming up, centre, turn to the right and you drop swing and then we're going to release that. Nice work there. Press down through the feet, reach the arms up, take hold of the right wrist here and then take a side bend to the left, turning the eyes to look over towards the right and then inhale back through centre. Take hold of the left wrist, inhale and then as you exhale, extend over to the right, head turning to look to the left. And again, inhale, centre, take hold of the right wrist, side bend to the left as you exhale, looking to the right, inhale, centre, take hold of the left wrist, exhale, side bend to the left here, and then coming back to centre, releasing the arms down by your side, bring the feet together side by side. Now, sweep the arms up, palms, hands come together, Exhale to bend through the knees and then hook that left elbow over to the right side, palms and hands pressing together and then we're going to take the arms straight back up again, inhale, exhale, bend into your Utkatasana legs, knees together, right elbow hooks over, looking over the left shoulder, reach the arms up, inhale, exhale, hooking over to the right, looking to the right, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, hooking to the left, Looking to the left, we'll do that two more times. Inhaling and exhaling. And again, inhale and exhaling. And coming back up, inhale, separate the feet, hip distance apart. And then let's just fold down into our Uttanasana. Just for a couple of breaths, feel free to bend through the knees here. Let the head relax. You could hold onto the elbows or interlace the hands at the base of the head. Allow the breath to slow down for a moment. One more full breath. Releasing those hands, take a spinal roll to come up to standing. And then let's open the feet out Nice and wide, feet are turned slightly out here. Taking the arms out to the side, we're going to bend through the knees, coming into your, your goddess pose, crossing the arms and then press down through the feet to straighten, cross the arms at the top and again, bending, cross the arms, taking a nice big inhale and then exhale. Knees pressing back, knees tracking towards that second toe. There's a little bounce at the bottom here. So just doing just a little soft bounce before we press back up. Let's go two more. This is two. And this is one. Coming up, bring the palms, the hands together. Inhale, exhale, draw the hands down through the centre line and then place the hands onto the thighs. Sit down a little bit deeper if you can. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. We're going to hold it here and we're going to do a bastrika breath. So... This is a breathing where you have to force the inhale and force the exhale. 
and force the inhale and the exhale. So it just sounds a little bit like this in and out through the nose. And you're just sucking the belly in at, uh, on the exhale, okay? Let's go, just for about 45 seconds. Last three, last two, last one. And standing all the way up, nice work there. I'm sure you're feeling the legs, feeling your belly and feeling all that circulation happening. Let's come back down into your goddess pose just for a moment here, take an inhale. And then we're gonna take a twist to the right, just letting that left hand turn in, right hand turn in so you can twist, pressing those knees back. And then inhale back through center to turn the other way, turning to the left sitting those hips down and then inhale center twisting to the right inhale center twisting to the left and then inhale center you can bend the knees slightly so you can rotate the feet into your parallel position here taking an inhale lengthen out through the spine and then as you exhale starting to walk the hands back to where you can if you're someone who is very flexible, then you might need to just narrow your stance. And if you want a little bit more space and just maybe open the feet out a little bit longer, you can either keep your hands shoulder distance apart or bring those hands back behind you, crown of the head reaching down towards the mat. Shoulders lifting away from the ears. Just allowing everything to slow down now. So now we've moved through the dynamic part of uh, building heat, but we'll still work with a few poses that do generate heat, but in more of a static position. One more full breath here. Walk your hands back out and then rotate this right foot out and this left foot out and we're going to walk the hands over to the right side so you can sit <clears throat> all the way down. So we're coming into just this uh, seated skandhasana variation here. So back of the left thigh pressing down, this standing down on this right foot. If this feels too strong then you can just bring it a little bit closer or if that just doesn't work you could just bend into that. Uh, place the, the, the leg down onto the mat. If you can, holding it here, place that right hand in front of the right leg, palm down if possible, and open that left arm up towards the ceiling. Keep flexing through that left, the left toes, maybe looking up towards that top hand. Feeling free to stay here. Anyone who wants to go for a bind, trying to hook that right shoulder in front of the uh, the leg and then wrapping back holding onto the left fingers or if you can maybe holding onto the left wrist and then gently releasing the bind releasing the arms we're going to shift the weight to that uh, right leg Rotate back to parallel for a moment, just taking an inhale. And then as you exhale, rotating into that left foot, right foot, walking your hands down until you come to a seated position. Trying to keep this right knee and right toes pointing up towards the ceiling. Standing down onto this left foot. Remember, it's an option to place the leg down if you need to. And then placing that left shoulder in front of that left leg, left palm down, reaching the right arm up maybe looking up towards that right thumb, staying active through this right, uh, this right leg. And maybe if you would like to give the bind a go, wrapping this left arm behind, trying to hook that 
left shoulder in front, wrapping that right arm so you can take hold of the fingers or the right wrist. Stay with your breathing. One more full breath. And then gently release the bind, releasing the hands, shifting the weight into that left leg, coming forward and finding your prasarita legs just for a moment here. Lengthen out through the spine, taking an inhale and then exhale, walking your hands around towards this left foot and dropping down onto that right knee, releasing that right foot. Just a moment here in your dragon pose. Trying to release the right hip down. And then we're going to uh, walk, bend into this right knee and start to bring it behind you, taking that left leg out to the side. So we're moving into our half frog position here. So you just want to walk this right knee out, right knee lining up with uh, that left heel. And you can keep the right toes tucked under for the moment. And then if it's possible, coming down onto your forearms. Keep pressing down through the outer edge of that left foot. And just for a few breaths, we're just going to gently just pulse back. Again, very strongly working through this inner left thigh and groin area here. And then when you can, just let the weight shift back to where you can, you can hold it for a few breaths. Try to smooth and lengthen out the breathing, hugging the navel in towards the spine. Relax the shoulders, just release the jaw. And then shift the weight forward, come up onto the hands and then rotate to face that left foot, bring it in towards you, bring that right foot back behind you, lifting that right knee off and just rotating through centre. So we're just rotating the feet to parallel and then finding your dragon on the other side, dropping that left knee down, release the top of the left foot down. Take a couple of breaths here. Left hip releasing down towards the mat. And then starting to bend into this left leg so you can Bring the left foot back behind you. Bring that right foot out to the side or that left knee back. So we're just trying to line up this left knee with that right heel. And depending on your uh, how much uh, openness you've got in your hips, you can open that knee out a little bit more. And then when you're ready, come down to the forearms, keeping the left toes tucked under here. Ground down through the outer edge of that right foot. And then just a few times, just taking a little pulse back and then forwards. And then pressing back and holding for a few breaths. Trying to lift the front of the body away from the mat. Maybe shifting the weight slightly back for this last breath. And then shifting the weight forward, coming up onto the hands. And then this time, let's just bring this right knee in, left knee in, coming into a Japanese seated position, coming upright, cupping the left hand into the right, tips of the thumbs lightly touching, closing down the eyes. Just feeling into the body. Just allowing everything to soften for a moment. And 
then let's open up the eyes. We're going to take a full frog now, if you can. So just take your time opening the legs out. And this is somewhere, if you, if you feel like your knees are super sensitive, that you could just pop, your, uh, pop a blanket underneath, underneath you. Try to line up the knees with the ankles and flex the feet, just opening them up to where you can. And you might stay really upright and that's completely fine. Feel free to stay here um, if you would like to. Coming down onto the forearms. And maybe shifting back, just back and forth just a few times. And then finding a position that feels like you can hold it for a few breaths. Just listening in for anywhere you can let go. And if it feels like it gets too much, then you can always just come out of it, come into a seated position. Just another three full breaths. Release the jaw, relax the shoulders. One more full breath. And then bringing the hands down, very carefully bringing your legs back in together and then just coming to a seated position. Extend the legs out long and have the hands back behind you and let's let the feet fall away from one another. Just relaxing back into the hands, closing down the eyes. Just feeling into the body and noticing just the shifts and changes and probably sense of relief after coming out of that pose. And then let's open up the eyes. And just to finish off here, let's take our Paschimottanasana. So pressing down through the legs, just using the hands down by your side for a moment, take an inhale and then exhale to fold forward over the legs, holding on to the legs where you can or the feet. Just with each exhale, allowing yourself to just fold a little bit further if that feels available. One more full breath. And then taking an inhale, coming up. Just bending the knees so you can lie down onto your back. Just making sure that you're warm enough. Just extending the legs out long, letting the feet fall away from one another, arms away from the body, closing down the eyes. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and then out through the mouth. And again, deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Just allowing the breathing to settle back into its natural rhythm. Surrendering the weight of the body. Allowing yourself to come to complete rest for the next few minutes.
Please feel free to stay resting here. Otherwise, gently start to bring your attention back to the breathing. Feeling the belly rise and the belly fall. Bringing a little bit of movement into the fingers and toes. Bending the legs up, rolling over onto one side. Just staying there for a few moments. And coming up to a seated position when you're ready. Keeping the eyes closed and resting your hands down onto the thighs or onto the knees. Just observing any differences that you might be feeling in yourself, in the body, in the mind, in your heart after the practice. Bringing the palms of the hands together into your prayer in front of the chest and bowing the head down towards your hands. Thank you so much for making it to your mat today. Namaste.